So this technique is very simple and also environmentally friendly and also cheap. It doesn't change the taste, but when you are using water guard or you are boiling the water, there is a change in the water. Despite the United Nations declaration of safe clean drinking water and sanitation as a human right, 2 billion people still lack access to the service, with estimated 120,000 people succumbing to cholera cases each year. Informal settlements stand most affected due to overpopulation and poor infrastructure. Waterborne diseases are one of the chronic uh, diseases which affect children under five years. So we feel like, how, can we, how are we going to deal it? First, training on hygiene practices, safe water at the point of use. Most of our pipes and our water sources is not as of good quality. Yeah, if you even step outside here, you saw our pipes that carries water to our point of consumption is passing through a, a garbage. Uh, uh, Siwa, our water consumption, it's, it's heavily contaminated. Naima is the founder of Savo Foundation. The foundation has set a foot forward to ensure clean and safe drinking water through a cheap and environmentally friendly technique called SODIS. So we feel like, why do I have to treat my water? We are believing that the water is being treated from Nairobi Water Company, but as uh, the, uh, the trainers will say, no matter the water trained, uh, treated from the uh, Nairobi water, how it reaches at our place is where the contamination starts. So, so this is easier and anyone can use it no matter where you are. The idea of SODIS was first published by Aftim Akra, a Palestinian scientist in a booklet published by UNICEF in 1984. In 1991, a research institute, IWAG, embarked on a comprehensive laboratory experiment to assess the potential of this method. The research was proven to be effective. In 2007, SODIS was declared a reliable treating water technique by World Health Organization in South Africa. SODIS is a solar water disinfection. It's a method uh, used sunlight, energy, and UV rays uh, to treat microbiologically contaminated water. It's used at a household level and also at schools. In 2003, we had an idea of, you take a, water, a bottle which was painted behind it as a, a black paint to observe the UV rays. Then the research continued and felt that even if you don't uh, paint the black, the water still can be treated. And this idea was brought by IWAG Institute of Research in Switzerland. It started fully now being practiced in Kebera in 2004. We were working with the Kenya Institute of Water for testing. They did a test uh, in 2006 to compare SODIS and this other water and they, felt, uh, they found out that SODIS can be treated and in 2007, we had um, a conference on SODIS in South Africa, and it was proven by WHO that it can, it can be used as uh, a way of treating water. So this technique is very simple and also environmentally friendly and also cheap. Uh, the only thing you need to use the method is a plastic bottle that is pet bottle and solar energy. You need like to have like a clean bottle. Uh, it should be 
three liters and below because of the, uh, the diameter really matters when it comes to the technical part of so this because you need like a bottle that the sun can penetrate so three liters and below that's the uh, three liters is the maximum and then you can use up to 500 uh, ml bottles so the first thing you need to do is like have like a clean bottle wash your bottle like uh, make sure it's clean to avoid like secondary contamination and then you put like water up to the brim uh, like the top part then you close then you find a reflective surface. You need like a place where it can reflect the, um, the sun rays and then you place it on top. And then, uh, so we used to say, uh, give it to around six to eight hours, depending on the intensity of the sun. Uh, initially, before we got like a gadget called Wadi, we used to give it like to around uh, six to eight hours. We were sure, uh, depending on the with the way the sun is on that day, we were sure like the, your water has been treated. But now you use there's a new uh, there's a gadget that will help you like uh, understand the, if your water has been treated. It's called Wadi. It helps you with the technical part of the time, how much time you should wait. So Wadi, Wadi works in like it has two ways it works. So it has like uh, a sensor that measures has the intensity of the sun and it has like a solar panel a small solar panel that does uh, absorb the sunlight so it can really tell how much intense the sun was in that day so it has a display it has a small display where it shows a frowning face and it uh, has like somewhere uh, it uh, um, with charging batteries so you'll see like the way of your, your smartphone will charge and show like uh, a buzzer being filled so the same way wadi on its display it will show like a buzzer being filled so you'll see like uh, it uh, initially it will start with one bar but as time progresses it will progress up to four bars and then the frowny face will turn into a smiley face so, uh, the wadi will just be put alongside the bottle is just to measure the intensity of the sun on that day the technique has been a great help to the schools so this technique has assisted in achieving quality education by reducing absenteeism in schools a common case due to waterborne illnesses we've been with Sodis for some years and uh, when they stepped in first of all they taught us how we could uh, treat water cheaply uh, using the local available materials which wasn't very expensive so after getting the or buying the idea from them we adapted and we started using it so uh, the information also was uh, sent back to the parents because children were empowered we also formed a club under which we find that uh, children got information and uh, sent <coughs> the ideas to their parents. On the side of benefits, I can say that uh, we've seen a great improvement because uh, uh, water-related uh, diseases that uh, used to be there were minimized because uh, children could no now get uh, water that uh, was safer for, for any, their health. Savo Foundation is currently working with 30 schools. At Church of God Academy, the project is managed by 30 pupils. Valerie, the leader of the health club, tells us how the project is beneficial to them. My name is Valerie Awar. I'm in class 8. Our health club is called YHP. In full is Young Health Program, which deals with health. We do normally discuss about health, which whereby how we, how we should be, how we should practice more about, more about cleanliness. That one is, the, the thing it helps us with, it's, it is just for making the water warm and maintaining the cleanliness of the water to kill germs. First you wash the bottles and then you put inside the water. Then you take that water project and replace it so that it can reflect sunlight. Uh, yes, it is a good idea because it does not require any chemicals. Apart from schools, Savo has also reached out to more than a thousand households. We not only custom for schools, we also have households. We choose schools because we choose those people as our ambassadors 
one of the biggest challenges of so this is climate actually as it right now you can see you can't uh, treat water using sodies uh, when it's cloudy over 50 percent like today it's actually over 50 percent you feel the cold that is that's a bit chilly so this is environmental free we have free sun it doesn't change the test but when you are using water guard or you are boiling the water there is a change in the water second the community cannot afford to have uh, the community cannot afford to buy the charcoal we did another uh, research in Wajia in 2008 we found that that no matter this so this we are we are treating at the point of use there are some highly uh, pathogen which cannot uh, go away only with sodis. So they have to chlorinate the wells. For those who are using the wells, again, you use sodis and that water is safe for drinking. The only water which cannot be treated by sodis is uh, sewage water. Water for life, wow, as a solution. Quenching gas. No longer a problem at our school. With sunlight, water you have. A one liter plastic bottle is all you need. Expose your water in sunlight and enjoy your treated water.